Like it or not, he now has to stay. Today, the state of Kansas said it would force Democrat Chad Taylor to stay in the U.S. Senate race. This comes one day after he tried to drop out. Garrett Haig shows us why the state wants to drag him back into the tight race. Krista, Taylor says he was told by the Secretary of State's office yesterday that this simple letter would be enough for him to withdraw his name from the November ballot. But today, Chris Kobach said that was not the case and that a race that was all but written off two days ago plunged even further into uncertainty. Based upon the poll results, I think that Democrat it's Chad Taylor insists Robert he was told this one sentence letter would remove his name from the November ballot. Today, Secretary of State Chris Kobach delivered his own single sentence ruling. Mr. Taylor's name will be printed on the ballot on November 4th, 2014. Kobach said Taylor failed to say in his letter that he would be unable to serve if he were elected, a requirement of Kansas statute. The law is very clear on this point. We now have no choice but to keep his name on the ballot. And couldn't resist a dig at Taylor, the Shawnee County District Attorney. Mr. Taylor is an attorney. He is capable of reading statute, and the statute is very clear on this point. In a statement, Taylor said he would challenge the ruling, but for a second straight day, the U.S. Senate race in Kansas was tipped on its head. Washington stuck. Without Taylor on the ballot, analysts said independent Greg Orman, a well-financed businessman from Olathe, had a chance to defeat Pat Roberts, stuck at 37 percent support in a recent poll. And now with this one-on-one... -on, -one on Wednesday, star columnist Steve Kraske predicted Republicans would try anything to save Roberts and their chances of controlling the Senate. So Republicans are going to uh, pull out every Every stop to try to save this seat and keep Pat Roberts in the Senate. Today, Kobach, a Republican and a member of Roberts' honorary campaign committee, denied politics played a role in his no, decision. No, this has nothing to do with the party. The law is the law. Uh, frankly, I wish the shoe were on the other. Now, even if he never runs another ad or gives another speech, a zombie Chad Taylor would be on the ballot and would split votes against Pat Roberts and essentially widen Roberts' path to victory. Meanwhile, Orman will get his first shot at Roberts one-on-one -on -one at a debate on Saturday, likely the next pivotal moment in a race now just two months away. In the newsroom, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.